Last time anyone saw him, um, he was leaving his work site. He was a geologist, young, vibrant, handsome, had his whole life ahead of him. And there, that whole scene right there, Arizona desert, he was leaving the job site. It was June 23rd, 2021, almost two years ago today. And he was uh, on his way away from the well site, 35 miles outside Phoenix, driving his Jeep Renegade. Nothing seemed odd. Dad had spoken to him, you know, right beforehand. Nothing seemed odd. And then no one heard from him again. And then that's what the Jeep Renegade looked like. And here's the strange part about that. Daniel's nowhere near that crash, okay? But all of his belongings are scattered outside, like his clothes, cell phone, keys, wallet, all outside the vehicle. And an expert that was hired by Daniel's dad, they found the data from the Jeep's computer, like the black box, said that somebody started that Jeep more than 40 times after the airbags deployed, and that someone drove it more than 11 miles after it first crashed. All very strange. And then today, we're getting new information. The data from Daniel's cell phone says that his phone was at the crash site for more than an hour after Daniel was last seen. Uh, the search on his personal and work computers and iPads showed Google searches. I don't know what to make of this, but here they are. Uh, quote, delete Instagram account. Uh, the word explosion. Uh, the expression, love changed me. The phrase, shooting Tempe as in Tempe, Arizona, and the phrase, I'm okay to do things I hate. Those were the searches. Still pretty mystifying. FBI's involved. Brand new team actually has gotten up to speed on this search. And then here's a strange thing. Someone claims to have run into Daniel the day he disappeared. And when police investigated that, they said that the data from the Jeep and the cell phone doesn't line up with that. I want to bring in David Robinson. David is Daniel's father. He has made it his quest and mission to find his son, and he's been a friend of the program. You know, every time I, I speak with you, I'm just, my, my heart just breaks, David. Uh, you've worked so hard. You, you moved to Arizona at one point to continue the search for your son. Have you found anything since the last time we've spoken in your uh, travels to Arizona and in your conversations with the police and regarding this new information that's released? Uh, yes, thank you. First of all, thanks so much for having me on. Um, yes, I have um, been finding some um, information. I was able to uh, speak with the mayor of Tempe, as well as um, um, the chief of police of Tempe uh, Police Department. Um, I was able to get them to do the electronics on Daniel's um, belongings. Um, while uh, um, getting those uh, information back, uh, some of those things went together with uh, my, my private investigator who um, Notice, um, you know, when he was able to get access to Dan's apartment, somebody was fumbling around in the apartment. Um, and then we also realized uh, through the, like I say, Tempe Police Department doing the forensics on the electronics, uh, that someone uh, was doing Google, doing searches on Dan's computer after the vehicle showed up from the, at the crash scene. So uh, we put those two things together, um, got some little information back from that as well. What do you make? David, of the search information. I'm trying to put it together. I can't think of what it could mean. A delete Instagram account, the word explosion, love change me, shooting Tempe, and I'm okay to do things I hate. Did anything resonate with you as his dad? Uh, not at all. Uh, you know, I have spoken to my son uh, two days prior to him going missing, um, and we had our normal conversations. It was two hour long conversations. My son do ask questions, He's a very inquisitive young man because uh, you have dreams and aspirations, but uh, none of those things uh, match up to anything that um, I have heard from Daniel uh, from my last time, but uh, not knowing Daniel's uh, computer and what he searched and things like that, I can't really uh, speak on that one. What about this new FBI team that's getting up to speed? Have you been working in concert with them? Well, um, I was um, out advocating for uh, law enforcement to get the FBI involved. Um, as you know, my son's vehicle is, is either on uh, federal land or in very close proximity. We found human remains out there in the area. My son was missing the crime scene, so I'm very delighted to hear uh, that the FBI is taking a second look. Uh, I did request it one time before, um, and they declined, but this time I hope they continue to help in the efforts.
Well, we're under, you know, two weeks from June 23rd. And as I understand it, you're planning to hold something called a virtual vigil where you're inviting everybody who's watching right now and they can all spread the word as well. Um, you're asking people to light a candle and then post that on their social media and tag you at Unity Candlelight Vigil, right? Unity Candlelight Vigil, all one word, if they tag you on that. And hopefully you can get that to go viral and get more attention to Daniel's missing case. Yeah, that's right. And also, you know, Daniel is, is um, America's son, I like to say, uh, meaning that uh, what happens to our family happens to many families. That's over 1,400 people uh, go missing every day in this country. So uh, we are not alone. So this um, event is, is, is for, like you say, everybody to be able to participate. But also I uh, will have other families that I will be highlighting. Uh, so that way, uh, uh, families uh, will get their story out there because those who are participating will also hopefully share uh, these stories as well um, as Daniel's story. David, I am wishing all uh, the best for you. I'm sending you every prayer I can muster um, in your efforts. Just keep us posted and let us know how things go. And I'm um, also wishing the best for the 23rd as well for the, the Unity Candlelight Vigil. Thanks for being on tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.